Hey everybody, I'm Bill, the Hill Country Prepper, and I want you to be informed so that you can be prepared. I just want to let you know the mask is back. That's right folks, that's what's going on around here anyway. The mask is back in public. Here just recently, uh, in the county in which I live here in Texas, Bear County, Texas, the mayor has filed and won a restraining order against Governor Abbott's no mask mandate. Now what that means is that uh, the restraining order says that whatever the governor says regarding wearing a mask in public no longer applies and the county has issued their own um, restrictions. The county health official has come out and declared that the county and all the public schools will follow the CDC's mask wearing guidelines effective immediately and I believe this was effective on the 10th of August. What this means is that the public schools and there are several public schools in the county that are already in, back in session. There are some that have not started yet but the mask mandate is back for students in the public schools regardless of their vaccination status. Now I happened to be in the Walmart yesterday with the wife picking up some some supplies and I was totally amazed by the amount of people that had already gone back to wearing the mask in, in the store. Um, I, I, I paid attention to the people and there were probably eight out of ten people maybe more I saw more people wearing a cloth covering over their face than I than I didn't see you know people wearing one now the problem with this the mask as you know doesn't really do anything it doesn't do any good in fact if you recall and, and, and you might check me on this information Back when this whole pandemic thing started, health officials were coming out and saying wearing a surgical mask uh, is not healthy. The surgical mask is designed to only be worn for 15 to 30 minutes. After that, it becomes contaminated with the, the air that you're, the, that you're expiring, that you're breathing out, and you're contaminating your mask. So if you're out wearing a mask in public repeatedly, again and again, especially a, a, a cloth mask, a cotton mask, or a, a, a polyester mask, whatever you might be wearing, all you're doing is, is, is trapping the, 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 the germs that you're breathing out and they're collecting there in the mask. Now, unless you're, you're wearing a surgical mask and you're, and you're disposing of it repeatedly, it's not gonna really do you any good, okay? Um, what what I'm seeing happening here with this mandate is that this is nothing but about fear. The elected officials are trying to scare the people. They're trying to scare the population. And unfortunately, it appears to be working, uh, at least here where I live, because you can see the sheeple already going out in public now, and they're wearing these cloth coverings over their face. It is not helping anything at all. If anything, it is probably hurting um, uh, their health. I'm not going to wear one. I'm not going to, I'm not going to require my child to wear one. Now the school district in which she uh, belongs has come out and said, we're not going to mandate them yet. Uh, so that's the key word there, yet. Now they start school here in a couple of weeks, so we'll have to kind of pay attention and see what happens in that regard. But it's nothing but a fear play. Now, they say that the Delta virus is, is spiking here in the county and it's spiking in the state. And could that possibly have something to do with the thousands and thousands of illegals that they're allowing to stream across the border? These people are coming from not only Central America and South America, but also from the Caribbean islands and also from Africa. Now, speaking of Africa, I don't know if you saw this in the news yet or not, but it was announced the other day that the uh, Marburg virus, which is hemorrhagic fever, is on the rise again in uh, areas like New Guinea. 
And now we've got people that are coming across the border in Texas that are from New Guinea and from Uganda. This is basically the Ebola virus. It's a strain of the Ebola virus. Now that is a deadly virus. Look that up. Do your research on that. Ebola is nothing to fool around with. I think the mortality rate of Marburg is upward of 88, maybe 90 percent. So if you catch Marburg, you're most likely going to die. If you catch the uh, the COVID, uh, th what is the mortality rate? Is less than uh, less than two percent, something like that. Now, of course, they're saying the Delta variant is surging all over the place, but they're, they're, people are only seeing the headlines. They're not reading into the story. They're not looking into the facts. They're not paying attention to what's really going on. And, and, and the media is not giving the population the facts. They're not giving them the statistics. They're not really saying, who are these people that are catching it? Are these people with the underlying conditions such as heart problems and, and existing resp respiratory problems, diabetes? Yeah. If you're susceptible to anything, sure, you should take care of yourself. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. If, if, if you don't feel well, you should stay home. You should continue to wash your hands. You should continue to practice safe hygiene. I'm not saying not do that. You should do that on any given day. But the fear that they're trying to put into the people, I don't like it. I don't like it, and I'm sure you don't like it either. Leave me a comment down below because I want to hear your thoughts on this. Like I said, folks, the mask is back, and uh, it, it's, the, the hysteria is running rampant, and the media and the socialist power players are trying to put fear into the people. And unfortunately, it appears to be working. I saw that yesterday at the Walmart with all the people that were donning the face coverings once again. Now, if that makes you feel comfortable, by all means, put one on. I don't care. All it does is it, 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 it tells me at a glance what your political affiliation is. All right. Guys, if you're getting information out of this, why don't you press down on that thumbs up and give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber yet, why not? Subscribe right now. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll get notified each and every time I upload some new content. So do that as well. Guys, like I said, I just want you to be informed so that you can be prepared. Let me know what's going on in your part of the country, where you live. I know I've got subscribers here in the United States. I've also got some subscribers from, from Europe and Southeast Asia. I want to hear what's going on in your area. Now, I have heard from a few as to what's going on, and, 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 and it's not good. Uh, there's, there's greater restrictions going on in Europe than are going on here in the United States, but I'll bet you, I'll bet you it's coming here, and, and I really hate to see that, because this, again, this is nothing but a fear play, because they can't have uh, the population have their freedoms back. It's all about fear, 100%. When I was at Walmart yesterday, it felt like I was back uh, a year ago. Uh, the number of people that were that were wearing the cloth coverings again that do no good guys i appreciate you watching i really do leave me a comment down below like and subscribe you guys have a blessed day thanks